So first of all, I want to uh, thank uh, John to uh, let me uh, being here on the stage. Uh, for me, it's a pleasure to uh, speak to you guys in uh, English. That is not my natural language, so I'll try to do my best. And I'm going to talk about this thing that um, I think that most of you guys here, I don't know if you are developers or not, all of you, I'm going to make this question to you because I think that in every single company it's very difficult to uh, build a good team around uh, Magento, okay? So let's see how it goes. So I didn't take any uh, study or I, I, didn't, I didn't went to a university in order to uh, get any, uh, any information about uh, human resources or uh, anything like that. So uh, all I'm gonna, going to talk to you is about uh, my experience and my mistakes and try to apply common sense, you know, uh, about how to build a, a, good, uh, a good team around a development company. So one thing that I want to say is that I prefer to do instead of being on the bench, uh, watching the game from, from you know, other ones doing the, the rest. So also uh, I want to say that uh, this is something that I learned in the last 20 years that I've been a uh, company owner. That's, that's a lot, 20 years, come on. I don't think it's that, that old, man. So yes, I'm 43 years old. So what is the most important thing? I, I have to be quick because those guys let me 15 minutes to talk. So that's crazy. So I have to talk about 25 minutes and those guys let me something like 15 minutes to talk. So I, I'm a little, I, I need to be a little bit uh, faster than I'm supposed to be. So sorry if, I, if, I, if you don't understand me something, okay? You can ask me later, but I'll try to do it in, in 15 minutes. So what is the most important thing for the tech company? Clients. What do you think? Clients are important. They give value to companies, right? As many clients you have, are big, so big is your company. So as Bruce Dickinson say, customers is just someone that can walk away. <laughs> so they can just be with us or not. It's in their nature. So I think that uh, we can't uh, talk about a lot. Another thing about giving value to companies that is called repository. So companies. You can measure companies' value about what they produce, okay? If you produce code, software, okay? We can measure your company about what is your code repository, all right? But um, at the end, it can be old, can be deprecated. It's a knockout gate, right? So it's like in the, in the auto uh, industry, you know? By the time you buy a car, it gets old. Right? So if you, if you choose something to follow in technology, is, something is going to replace it because progress is there. Right? And what about the team? Right? We have uh, our clients, we have our, our code, our product, and what about the team that is working in the company? I think that this is the most important thing that we have in the companies, the team. It's the hardest, find, it's the hardest part to find is the hardest part to fit in your company, is the hardest part, uh, part to retain, uh, to make them grow. So I'm gonna talk about how to, how to find, how, I'm gonna try to give you some tips about how to uh, build a real good uh, development team in your company. So this is more or less my talk about. So how to build a Magento development dream team, developer. So what is a developer for you guys? It's uh, someone that can write code. You, all of you that are technicians and are supposed to be a technical conference. I mean, I'm an engineer. I don't write code anymore. But I, I feel myself as a developer. So I, I think that um, it's important that at the end, any person or company that creates new products on uh, software, okay, is, must be called developer. And it doesn't mean that can't write code at all, okay? And uh, I think that you guys in your own companies must give some value as well to people that are around not only coding all the time. Because we think that we are all developers, all of us. And it doesn't matter if you code or not. 
We all deliver software. We all enable people, you know, to deliver software. But also, I think that here in this in this in this room, we have a special species. Is that right? Okay, species of developers. We are transactional developers. So that makes something like a different. That makes some this this business a little bit different and. Uh, making a team around this is much more difficult because we enable transactions. We enable people and companies to make money. So we enable business. And this is why this thing is so complicated. Right now, I think that more or less taking this, this context around, uh, we in this 20 years of uh, working with many different type of people, we found that, uh, in my experience, there's so many different types of jobs and roles, okay? At the beginning, when we, when you, when we found the company and we were trying to make a company at the beginning, we do a lot of stuff. We, just, we are just not focused on doing one thing. So the, the, in terms of efficiency, you should do just one role or one thing in your company. But we are, when you are just a few of you, you do a lot of stuff, even changing the bulbs, you know, or, or, or the cleaning things, you know, in the, in, the, in the kitchen. I mean, this is not your main thing to be done in, in your company, but at the end, we have many, many roles. But we can, re we can make a summary of the roles that you can find in a company. And uh, at the end, we have something like a thinking and doing, okay? And this is more or less the thing that doesn't scale. So this is something that we found at the beginning with a freelance mentality. And uh, when you work with more than one people and you're trying to do things in parallel, you need to introduce one new concept that it's managing, okay? Because we need to manage people in order to grow. And combining all those three things is exactly what you have if you want to build a good team. So we have thinking, managing, and doing. Are you following me? Are you all of you wake up or it's okay? You good? Okay. So we, we, we always say that the perfect thing is just to choose one, okay? But we are not big enough, you know, to have people just thinking, people just managing, and people just doing things, right? So we think, and we, we, we propose internally in our company that you, maybe it's okay just to choose two. And depending those two things that you're choosing, okay, maybe it's okay that you can uh, more or less place yourself in a different level of the company. So I don't know if this picture is gonna fit your company as it's fitting mine one, but it, this is more or less my, my idea, okay? So you have, okay, I think that CEOs, okay, oh, shh, must, uh, sorry for that, Sonia, uh, must be focused on thinking all the time, not doing too much or managing, okay? And depending on different roles that we have in the company, we are going to cross across uh, managing, and then we get more close to doing, right? I agree with that, all of you, huh? Yes. Yeah? How many of you are not developers? Really true developers, raise your hand. The better, don't, don't be shy, keep the, your, 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 your hand raised. You? Okay, another one? So it's less than 3%, are you developer? No. Come on, George, raise your hand, don't be shy. <laughs> So most of you guys, you are developers. You are all of you people that can write code, aren't you? So raise your hand, the people that can write code in the, in the room. You didn't raise your hand. What the fuck are you doing here, man? <laughs> he came here for the food and drinks. <laughs> yeah. I have to say that I have something like five uh, black label. Uh, Johnny Walker on the speaker room, so it's okay. So, uh, okay, so good luck. I mean, I, I give you all the things that you need in order to build your theme, okay? So, see you soon at the bar, all right? Don't clap or nothing?
Okay, 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 luck. I think that luck is really an important fact here if you want to build a team in a development company, okay? But I'll give you some tips, okay, in order to have more chance to have luck, right? So let's talk about the first. So place people in the right place, okay? Not all people are meant to do the same job. So the thing is that normally when you get, in, when you get a job in a company, you are hired in order to do something specific, right? But this something specific that you are hired in the, in the first place is not something that I, you are gonna do in the, the rest of your life, okay? But uh, sometimes people uh, get fear about managing, about mentor other people or doing complex things and they want to be in the comfort zone all the time. So it is important that place people in the right place in order to get, you know, um, to try them to be a little bit, you know, fitting in the right uh, uh, expectations that they have according to the company. Also, everybody wants to grow. It's like, I mean, when I, when I hire someone to be in my company, okay, I need to show them exactly what is the career path that they're gonna have in the company. What is the next step? Because someone can, can talk to my resource, someone that is com working for me, okay, or in my company, okay, doing something in my team. And showing them something that is even better than he's doing right now. Why don't we show them at the beginning what are the next step within the company? So what you should do in order to grow inside the company? What are the expectations you have with people that is working right now with you? And what are the, step that, the steps that they need to do in order to achieve something to get the next position? And position means salary as well, okay? So to retain, you need to show future, okay? So make them grow or not, because remember, place people in the right place. There's people that they don't want to grow. They, they just want to be there and keep coding all the time like this, cluck, 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 not doing anything else. And it's okay, okay? I, I, I respect that, okay? I really respect that. It's okay. Make your team share. I've been in, uh, uh, Philip talk about uh, New York. I've been in uh, Mid Magento, uh, UK as well. Um, it's not the same as Mid Magento Spain, Mid Magento Germany, Mid Magento any other world in, in like uh, Netherlands maybe. It's, there's people sharing stuff. There's people there. There's a lot of developers from different companies that are talking to each other. German community is huge from a long time ago. I respect them a lot. It's amazing what they can do. I think that we follow them in Spain. We share a lot. I think that this is some a statement that we did from the very first beginning. But it's really hard to see people from other agencies, other developers in New York talking to each other. There's no developers from other agencies in, 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 in New York. And I didn't see in, in maybe in, in Mid Magento uh, UK. Have you, you English people, have you, did you go to Mid Magento uh, 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 London, uh, UK? Did you? Did you? Raise a hand, everyone that went to, to the event. One? Who else? What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me, Sonia. So why? I don't understand. Are your bosses worried about you going to another event? Are the other bosses uh, trying to hire you or something like that? No, come on. Make them proud. Make, the, make, make them, I don't know, some, some pride about belonging to something, right? So your flag, so your colors there. Share things, engage, exchange with other people of, from other companies. I think it's, it's important to make them take credit for what they do. Also internally in your company, you can do some kind of a share sessions Inspire them to, to participate and uh, to write some blog, to tweet about what they're doing. Why not? There's no secret. This is fucking open source. <laughs> <coughs> oh. 
Okay, promote. It's okay. Why don't promote people? It's okay. You just need to find them better place to be. No, just your company. Let them be proud. Another tip. This is something really good. If you deliver, you must celebrate. This is important. Please, do not draw in the house and wheel. Should you go to your company, you're a sales guy, or you're a CEO, and you have a really good relationship with, a, I don't know, really awesome merchant, and you come back to your office, and you say, hey, I get this client, we're gonna do this awesome job, you know, this awesome uh, project to them. And the people in the, in the office is like, oh my God, another project, no, wait. You know, they don't, they, we're not gonna do what to do, we're exactly the same guys, you know. To, so this is exactly what is happening right now. Why? Because nothing happens if you deliver. So if you deliver, do something. Celebrate. Give them some insistive. I don't know. I'm not going to talk too much about this, OK? But it's OK. But I think it's important, you know, if you deliver, you celebrate, OK? I think that we need to make days different from one day that is normal day than one day. Okay, so we have something like in our company, when we put something in production, everybody needs to know. It's important. I think, I don't know, uh, maybe someone can bring some donuts or, or, or stay a little bit, you know, looking to others, you know, like, hey man, come on. Because we work for deliver. We work for putting pro uh, uh, projects in production. So it's an important date. It's like, it's like Christmas, come on. Isn't it? Get drunk. It's important. <laughs> OK, work hard, party harder. I think that uh, you, can, you can see this in uh, our tutor handle and in, in, uh, in our teacher profile in, in, in Interactive 4. Respect. Respect is super important in the, in the companies. Super important. I think that uh, you need to gain respect by, I mean, empathy, empathy works. Empathy, it's, uh, you, you know about empathy, people that code that you do, you do know about empathy, it's just trying to put yourself in the shoes of other, okay? So you are coding like, a, like I don't know, 18 hours a day and then some project manager is coming to you like, oh, I have this problem with the client, you know? I was with talking some drinks, uh, having some drinks with him till 1 a.m. in that club, fancy club, and he was asking me about doing something tomorrow. Yes, okay, this is hard as well, okay? So trying to be friend of the clients all the time is something that is hard as well. So I think that empathy, empathy works. So trying to put yourself in other shoes, even if you think it's a shitty work or, or something like that, I think it's, it's, it's important. But acquire knowledge to gain respect is important. So know what you have in hands. Everyone, not only developers. I'm not talking about developers, people that can't write. I'm talking about people that manage as well, okay? They need to also managers or managers of managers of uh, 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 scrum masters and COOs and CTOs and CEOs. So we do need to know what we have in hands all the time. It doesn't mean that we need to go too deep, but Come on, at least read a little bit, right? Huh? Or, to, or read the, or how many of you read Magento Manual? The last one, raise your hand. Which manual? 2.2. <laughs> it's okay. Just, just use your manual, use your, use your manual. You didn't. <laughs> there's a user manual, B9. Yeah, there is. Okay. I'm sorry about that. So everybody needs to do it. Come on. How to, how to just upload a product or change the image, something like that. You need to do it. It's just, it's just a common culture if you do Magento, all right? Applying good habits. So it's something like not coming to the office at 11, so things like that, right? So yeah, build company culture is important, but also teamwork comes set and help each other. Which is the best developer that you can find in your company? And I'm talking about developer as a concept that I'm trying to explain to you. 
which is the best developer that you can find? Someone tell me. The best developer that you can find in your company is the one that makes other better. This is the best resource that you have. And I think that you, all of you in your company, you have someone like this. And this is the best one you can have. So teamwork concept and help each other is really important. Honesty. Honesty or honestly? Honesty, okay. Sorry for my English. So share, as a company owner, I, I really want to share my, my goals to my team, okay? Which is, the, which is my goal? Which is my goal as a company? It's making money, it's making clients, it's making an investment in order to do something that at the end is gonna make my company grow because it's easier to deliver projects. What is the company goal? We need, to, we, need to, we need to share this thing with, with our team. Not, I mean, developer for me is not writing. It, was that clear for everyone? Yes, right? So I think that everyone in the company needs to be balanced about what are the company goals. Because it's important. I mean, I don't know how many of you work in a 150 people company. I think that no one of you. Normally, we are something like less than 70 people in our industry right now. So it's important, it's important to know the company goals. Let people know when they do good and where are not, and when they are doing bad. I think that it's important to go to someone and say, hey, you're doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing really bad. You're do so if I go to someone and I say, that you're doing really bad, <laughs> he's gonna laugh at me. So it's okay, so you're doing, Okay, so I think it's important people letting know to, that they are not doing right in a, in, in, in a certain moment. And, please, and don't, do not please people. Don't be afraid. I think that people um, respect honestly. So don't be afraid about someone is gonna leave the company if you are too honest with them. Makes no sense, right? So if you are not doing nice, I prefer someone to tell me, okay, you are not doing nice. You're doing really good. No, come on. So you, at the end, you need, to, you, need to, you need to face the problems. Well, I think it's important. This is a tricky thing. Salary. There's a lot of people that go out of my company about salary. N not now, because we are paying so nice. So if you want to come to my company, you can. <laughs> OK, that's a joke. I mean, no, no, there's no Spanish company that can pay your salaries, guys, here in the UK, so it's okay. I'm fully covered, sorry. <laughs> so I think it's, I think it's not, not everything it's about the money, okay? Sorry for that. I, 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 for, <laughs> I forgot to, I forgot to, to, uh, to correct this thing, this thing. Code of conduct, okay, all the time. Sorry, but I think that everything is not about the salary. It's not, not everything is about the money. I think that balance money with expectations with the right place to be, with a place to learn. Uh, it just seems to be a very f philosophical thing, but, uh, but, but really, really, I think that people belongs, really need to, 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 to feel the, the, to have this feeling about belong to something. Okay, to be in cover if something happens. To not be the one facing the problem all the time. I think that this is really important for people. Be because you can go to some really fancy consultancy firm that are, those guys are hiring people from a company all the time. And uh, you know, good salary and everything, you know, like, a, I don't know, 60 floor with a side view of the, of the, of the city and so on. But they are alone. They're alone. So they are doing big, big projects, but at the end they have no one in order to ask what to do, or if it is good or not. And I think this is value that you can also show your, the people that you have in your company. It's really important. So belong to something is really important. So this is pretty much the thing that I want to tell you, but this is the last tip. Success and happiness. What do you think about that? You think it's the same? I think it's not. Success is not 
exactly the same as happiness. I think that uh, for every individual, this formula is different and across the time, change depends on the circumstances because we grow as individuals as well. We have family, we have a wife or husband, depending, okay? Like the complaining machine all the time. So we need to, we need to fit, you know, these circumstances and uh, make it work with the company as well. So we need to listen, we need to understand what's going on in every individual in order to adapt their needs or talk to them or mentor them in order to grow within the company. And this is, I think, my last tip. So thanks. So someone, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, Philip, don't go. So someone told me about, this is a technology conference. So have you seen the PWA here? Because I did it twice. You did? Uh, one. I bet there's two. Nah. So with this one, it's three times. Okay, you want to know it. This is the first one. <laughs> and this is the other one. Okay? So, thank you very much, all of you. Okay. I did nice. Yeah, that's, uh, that was very good. Good on time. Any questions for Nacho? Any questions? Come on. Don't be shy. No questions? Who? Huh? You, you yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, Magento two especially because I I was not uh, I don't I was not it was something new and I I wanted to to learn. Yes. Yeah. Here's one. How do you deal with budgetary? constraints uh, when uh, your team wants to go out to events and uh, there really isn't any budget left for the team to go out. So you, three they don't go. If there is no budget, they don't go. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, you, <laughs> have, you, have you seen any, any one of my team in here? <laughs> I don't know, maybe you spent the money at the bar last night, but... Um. Uh, okay, okay, I have to say that, okay, I have to say, that, uh, can, I, can I, I have time for an history? Yes, okay. So every single Christmas party in my company, we do a game. I don't know exactly which is the aim of the game. So, I mean, uh, we, we throw darts or, or, or we, do, we do with the dice and things like that. So the prizes that you can get, it's, uh, you like jamón, you know, ham? from Spain and uh, wine and um, beverages. And, and this is small, uh, small envelopes. And all the people want envelopes. Because envelopes, inside the envelope. Raul knows that. <laughs> this guy there was, is a former employee of Interactive 4. So he knows that. Yeah, he is there, yeah. So he knows about that. So we have a small envelopes. What that does those envelopes mean, what is inside? It's a trip for a conference. Okay, so something like more than 50, 60% of the company, they go every year to conference. So we were six people in Imagine, we were something like 10 people in Magento Life, and almost at least two people come with me to any mid Magento uh, event that I used to go. Poland, Italy, uh, UK, uh, I don't know, um, uh, Netherlands, Germany, any of them. And I think it's really good for them. And it's really good for the content, but because I tell them to write a post about it, you know. It's good. So it's good. Well, thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Nacho. Oh, oh. Another one. We have a couple minutes. Okay. Go for it. Uh, hi. Hi. So you have a company for 20 years. And no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> This is my sixth company. Okay. So I had many companies before. 
Okay. I mean, uh, all. I mean, I'm not in and out of every of them. It's a long story, but right now I'm having something like three or four of them. That I, uh, Interactive Four was built uh, something like eight years ago. Okay. Eight. Okay. <laughs> so, you. So you said there were time when people were leaving a company, maybe a lot. I don't know. Yes. And now you're saying it's a good place, and no, not so many people are leaving. Yes. So do you remember which exact change lead to this, like from yes. company where people yes. are leaving to? Yeah. That's okay. It. Right now we are. This is very complicated to say. Right? Because the next week is Black Friday, and then I want to, this camera to turn down, okay? Because all my company members are watching to me. But we do not work in weekends. <laughs> not. It's really important to make a difference between weekends and work days. So we. Uh, it's really hard to say because we have an incident right now with a very huge uh, a client that is uh, going to run uh, the campaign on Monday about uh, you know all the Black Friday stuff and they make something like 10 millions in this campaign. So hard to say right now, but we do not work in weekends. Not there's n n for the last something like three years we didn't work to something like twice or three times in weekends, and it's really important to us. When people was going out of the companies, was no difference between um, holidays or weekends or non-working days. Everybody was going there, you know, to work, because we 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 got a couple of big, big, big projects that we must to deliver, and we a little bit. So we came from something like twenty to thirteen people because people, key people in the company, leave. And at the end, you know, working those weekends, if you see all the things that we did from long distance in time, it didn't make the reference. So it didn't make the reference. So if, the, if we decided at that time not to work in weekends, we were at exactly in the same situation if we, as if, we, if we work in weekends. So we decided not to do it. My pleasure. Anything else? No? So thank you very much, all of you, and uh, see you in the next.